Sugar Pro Studio Kitchen Lab coming at you Friday night, 6 o'clock. We ready to rock and roll. Now, uh, you can always catch the promos and pictures of what I'm doing in the kitchen on my IG at sugarpearls underscore online. Or uh, you can go to YouTube so that when this live show is done, what I do is I take some time at night and I um, post the shows to my YouTube page, which is at Sugar Pearl. So that's S-U-G-A-R-P-E-A-R-L apostrophe S. And uh, of course, my website is www.sugarpearlsonline.com. Hey, Tommy. That's why I missed you last week. Are you okay? I'm glad you're checking in tonight. Glad you're checking in. Um, but tonight we're gonna get started. So I actually started on this recipe, um, I guess Wednesday night, because I kind of had an idea of what I wanted to do. And then I went to the farmer's market on yesterday and picked up some goodies, honey. So let me show you what I got. Uh, so yesterday at the farmer's market, um, I found some beautiful sugar snap peas. I already, I, I snapped these and string them already. You want to take the strings out when you snap them. Y'all, my folks down in, in the county know uh, how to snap and string some beans, okay? And then I found some good old uh, oyster mushrooms, some shiitake are these shiitake or oyster? Um, are they the same? I don't know. Anyway, good. I'm glad to hear you're okay. Love you. Um, and and I also got some um, some beautiful little mushrooms from the farmers market, and some fruits and all kind of stuff. Y'all, that farmers market has been <laughs> my friend. And um, I just wanted to go there to get a little bit of inspiration about, you know, what I was going to put together for this dish. So the dish I decided on, uh, I stopped into the store on last week and I found some beautiful um, pork chops. But these ain't no regular pork chops. These are some nice half inch cut. Yes, did, did your mouth not water? Okay. Um, and I seasoned these babies up the other night and had them in the fridge. And um, what I did before I put them in this container, I laid some maple syrup down in the bottom of it. And then I put um, the seasoned chops on top of the maple syrup. And then I covered it again with maple syrup. <laughs> <laughs> Can you, you you know where I'm going with this? So we are doing tonight some um, maple glazed pork chops with some um, sugar snap peas and shiitake mushroom. Uh, I'm not going to do a starch tonight. I, I really need to make sure that I lay off of that and stay well. Okay, so, so no starch tonight, just uh, a meat and a side, a veggie side. Um, but I got a little salad also, some uh, spinach. I picked up some lettuce from the farmer's market. And I also got some, what else did I get? Oh, some little cute little cucumbers from the farmer's market. Some Roma tomatoes, of course. Onions, and I'm going to just toss that in my salad greens in just a little bit, which is a blend of a um, romaine lettuce and spinach, baby spinach. All right, so I've had my pan warming for just a little bit. Wait a minute, hold on. Back up. I, I, gotta, I gotta say some things before I get started with the show. Um, hold on, make sure. I get everything going. Give me a little sip of my little cucumber lemon water, my uh, lime water. 
Let me tell you, it's Libra season, y'all. Now, I'm not a Libra, but I am in love with some Libras, okay? Um, beautiful people, loving people um, will tell you like it is and play no games. But I got to shout out just a few um, folks celebrating birthdays in October. And those folks happen to be... Now, there may be more, so if I miss your birthday, hey, Cheryl, <laughs> that's my big sis, Cheryl, who is right now visiting my niece um, in Upper Maryland right now um, with my nephew, Tyler. Yeah. So thank you for watching. I know you're on vacation, you're on the road, but you still took time to watch me and it means so much. So I, I got to shout out these October birthdays. Like I said, if I miss you, chime in and, and tell me, hold on, sis. Don't forget me because uh, I want to include you as well. Uh, so my brother, um, who has worked for the same agency that I work for, uh, remember I told you about Reggie Robinson and his wife, Camille, they do the marriage show and they got a radio show and all of this stuff. Well, Camille is actually celebrating her birthday. That's Reggie's wife, Miss Camille. I think it's today. If I'm wrong, correct me. But I don't know if it's today or yesterday. But I want to shout Camille out um, for being just an awesome uh, woman and mom. Um, yeah. Uh, happy birthday to you, Camille. Coming up October 22nd, uh, Mr. A5 himself, Kevin Price, will be celebrating his birthday. Uh, he is the husband of my very dear friend and leader, Michelle Price. Michelle, happy future birthday to your boo, honey. Uh, Mr. Kevin, hey, honey, happy birthday. And... Of course, Queen Libra herself, Ethel P. Isaac. That's my mama. Uh -huh. Her birthday is on Sunday. So happy birthday to your mama. Yes. Love of my life, you are my friend. Yes. That was my attempt at a little Erica Badu. Uh, but happy birthday um, to everybody, but especially my beautiful, my wonderful, my tell it like a T I Z mama, Miss Ethel P. Isaac. Um, thank you for all the courage, all the encouragement, and the love, and the support. And uh, I wish you many more beautiful birthdays to come, honey. I'll be seeing you very soon. Um, for now, we're gonna get this meal started. How about it? I'm going to turn this down just a little bit. Let me get my salad um, here. I already got my um, my lettuce. Oh, Thomas, I missed you. Is that the Brian Bradley? What? My That's my cousin Nicole's husband, Brian. What up, bruh? Thank you for watching and tuning in. Oh, Uncle Fred is at my mom's house. Why are you hacking my mom's Facebook page? Never mind. Hey, Uncle Fred, I love you, boo. And Tommy says he's still eating the artisan salad and the dressing from Aldi. So let me let me show y'all something real quick. Okay, so the, I don't know if you remember that garlic vinaigrette that I was telling you about, but this is what's going on my salad tonight, okay? Um, I know it's backwards, but anyway, it's... It's a garlic vinaigrette that I get at Aldi. It's, it's so good. I could probably make it myself, but I don't even want to try because it's perfect. It's perfect. I love it. Um, It's sweet and savory and spicy and just, just beautiful enough to keep your salad nice and bright. And uh, I'm going to just throw... Onions, lettuce, cucumbers, like, boom. Boom shakalaka. That's it. Okay, wash the hands. 
and we're gonna get started now my goal is not to keep y'all long um my folks down in the county they are having a huge party um like an all-white big bash going on at the museum there in lee county and i know a lot of folks are headed out there y'all just be safe honey be safe no drinking and driving but turn all the way up honey have a ball for me Woo! and i'll be here cooking and i want to hear all the juicy details when y'all get back okay um, I already washed up my pepper. I'm going to cut that in a little bit. That's going to go. That's going to go with my sugar snap peas and my mushroom. Okay. So right now, let's get started, money. Get some olive oil here. Uh-oh. Lord, don't tell me. Who? Jesus, thank you. Got my olive oil. And what I'm going to do is start the um, these big old juicy pork chops on the griddle. Because I want to get a nice crust. And that seasoning and that maple syrup that I put on there, I want to make sure, excuse me, I'm just swiping, that um, everything just kind of comes together and really melds and sticks onto that meat and then i'm going to finish it off in the oven toss it with a little more maple syrup on the top to give it a nice glaze okay so right now turn that okay griddle is going for those of you that are just joining tonight we are doing maple glazed pork chops See that thickness? You want a nice thick cut. You can get your butcher to cut it like that for you. All right. So if you don't want the thin cuts that they already have prepackaged, ask your butcher to cut you about a cut you some chops about a half inch thick. They'll be glad. They love doing stuff like that. They'll do it. They'll do it. I just season these up since Wednesday, honey. And um, put a little maple syrup. Look at look at all that goodness down in there. And and we gonna get this party started right now. Oh, sugar snap peas. Okay, cause some people um, from the city were like, "What what do you mean snap and string the beans? You gotta sh you gotta snap and string them." Okay, so these are your sugar snap peas. Um, they got teeny little, they're a little pod, but they've got teeny little peas on the inside, which are super tiny. Um, and when you saute these, like, very nice, very sweet. Um, some people actually eat them raw. And you can, man, that's, that's your prerogative. All right, but let me show you. I left a few out here. So when you get your sugar snap peas, here's one that I left undone for you. You just want to snap back and forth. And look at that. That's this. That's what you don't want to eat. I mean, you could, but you'd be pulling out, out your teeth later. So get rid of that. Okay? Shall I show you again? Snap and... Yes, you want to um, snap and pull the string. It's just that easy. Now, I did that for just about all of them, except the ones that I'm showing you. Sugar snap peas are, um, they're really good, really delicate. If you don't want to just have a pot of, of boiled peas with the gravy and stuff, then this is something nice that you can just kind of saute with some some beautiful seasonings and um, keep everything kind of bright. No pork chops. <laughs> no pork chops next week. My favorite. Oh, Cheryl, really? I'll do it again for you, honey. I will. <laughs> That's my sister. So my sister, Cheryl, is spending the... We're doing a sister weekend next weekend. So... Don't worry, I got you, boo. I got you, okay? I tell you. 
Uh, turn that down. Ooh, that's that's gonna pop if I'm not careful. Um, I'm gonna put a little bit of olive oil in this one. This is for my sugar snap peas. Two ingredients tonight. I'm not doing a big dinner. Um, just something fairly light. Ooh, same debarge. Mm. Sorry, y'all. Every now and then I hear a song and it just speaks to my spirit. All right. Got your pan coated with some oil. Now, take out the seasonings that you want to use for this. I have not really decided. I know I want some Himalayan salt. Um, what else do I want? I think I'm going to do a little, no, I don't want to do badia in that. I'm going to keep it kind of light tonight. Oh, you know what I'm going to do? I got all this. Let me show y'all my little window garden, okay? I'm not going to turn the phone because I don't want to lose my connection, but let me, let me just, oh, 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 gently, baby, gently. I've got basil and I've got thyme, I mean, and rosemary, basil and rosemary growing like crazy. Um, so I'm gonna cut some of that basil and put it in, I'm gonna put some in my salad and I'm gonna put some in the sugar snap peas. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh, that smells so good. Let me get my kitchen chips. Fresh herbs in your food is the best. It really is. Um, any herbs really, but I just love a nice fresh herb. I'm gonna just take these babies. Oh wow, these were really baby buds. Oh my goodness. Um, but again, for all of you just joining me, thank you so much, um, for putting up with the beautiful mess that I make in the kitchen every week. Thank you. Thank you. Actually, doing this show, I'm just doing a rough chop on that. Doing this show keeps me accountable. Um... It, it gives me something to look forward to. One, because I just love it. And two, um, I stay out of trouble that way. Yeah, believe it or not, I get into a little trouble. Yes, yes. Not nothing where nobody got to bail me out. Like, nobody got to have, like, no bail money on hand. But every now and then, you know, I, I find my way in a little bit of trouble. So... Doing the show uh, actually ensures that I'm I'm doing the right thing. I like it like that. Yes, I do. Rough chop, rough chop. Oh, honey, get you a good old window garden. If if like my place is small, I don't have a balcony. I don't have a yard yet. One of these days, I'm going to be blessed with a nice house. And I'll be able to have a beautiful garden in the back right now. That's not my life. Uh, and I ain't mad. I just know that, you know, I have to find other ways to eat clean and eat. <laughs> you make me sick. Marvin. Marvin's on my That looks like cannabis. It's not... It's not cannabis. It's, it's basil. It's basil. Now, whatever herb you choose to put in your food is completely up to you. Okay. Um, but as for me and my house, <laughs> we're just going to do a little bit of... Uh, I got some rosemary here. I'm going to just kind of... Eh. Yeah, take that off the stem. I think I'm going to do a little more. Hold on. Cheers. Check. Yes. Take that off. Woo, 
Peebo Bryson. Y'all, ooh, I wish I had some company here tonight, child. Yeah, every now and then, I like a little company. Every now and then, not all the time. But right now, I'm feeling kind of, kind of saucy. Like, I got the good old school music, some Peebo, some good food going. Child, let me tell you. I am somebody's dream right about now. And I'm going to cook you dinner. <laughs> okay. I'm feeling myself. I'm going to stop. I'm feeling myself. Feeling myself. Feeling my... Alright. Okay. So that's nice and warm. I need garlic for my sugar snap peas. Where's my garlic? Here we go. Got some nice minced garlic. I would, I did get garlic from the farmer's market, but I don't think I feel like chopping it up tonight. So I'm going to just use what I had in the fridge already, baby. Let me tell you, um, I ain't trying to make this complicated. Mm. Cucumber and lime. Delish. All right. Um. So I got my. Why did I take the tagine out? I don't think I want to use tagine in my sugar snap peas. Or do I? I'm gonna do a little. Oh. Hang on. Oh, y'all so patient with me. So patient. Um, I don't necessarily like telling people what to season their food with. What you season your food with is your business. I would just encourage you, as always, to first start by seasoning with herbs and then add your, try to do the salt last, okay? Um... Just to make sure you don't oversalt. And and when you do season, like if you buy garlic salt or uh, Lowry's or all of that other, those things already contain salt. Yes, minced garlic for real. Um, those things, those seasonings already con contain quite a bit of salt. So you probably don't need to add additional salt now for me i don't buy a lot of those seasonings i don't buy lorries at all um but i will buy like an onion powder or a garlic powder no salt in it just the the powder um but you know to each his own but i know that for me i have really had to um Consider everything that I put into my food um, so that I'm not over salting, so that I'm not, you know, adding more cholesterol to my diet. Because um, I got to keep these arteries going, honey. All right. Uh, sugar snap peas. Oh, first, not yet. First, I need to chop up a little bit of this red pepper. Because this is going in my sugar snap peas. Just to give it some color. That's it. Y'all, you, you know my saying. You eat with your what first? Yes, your eyes. You eat with your eyes first. So it needs to have um, beautiful colors and, and flavors. Like, I don't want salt to be the first thing that hits my palate. And I don't want all my food to taste the same. So I try to make sure I really got to get some, some better knives. This, you see how I'm cutting all sideways like that? This, mmm. Ugh. I need some good knives. All right. Got my sugar snap peas. I'm going to toss that in. Turn that up a little bit. Add my minced garlic, about a, about a teaspoon. I may decide to do more. I don't know. 
And I'm going to put my herbs and stuff in there. Now, huh, mm, look at that. I know, it's beautiful. That, that's good, clean eating. Yeah, you can make a meal out of that by yourself. So, if you're vegetarian, honey, and you just want to eat clean, you can just do that. Um, but I'm, I'm a carnivore. I, I don't mind some veggies and stuff, and I try to eat more plant-based foods than I do meat anyway. Um, this is my second time eating meat this week. But, um, tonight, we, we doing it like the caveman did it, and we gonna, we gonna eat some meat. Alright, so I got my griddle turned up here in the bag. This is my... That's where your where your chops are going. All right. Don't turn them beans yet. Peas. Just let it let it do what it do. Cause it's it's creating its own magic. Okay. Now to the top of it, you just want to add some. I got some Himalayan salt. Not too too much. I don't want to do that. Little pepper. Not too too much. Oh my goodness. Oh, that smells so. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna put some oregano in here. I got oregano. Just a little bit, just because I love oregano. Turn that up. And, okay, so my griddle is nice and hot back here. I'm going to go ahead and get one chop, and I'm just going to drag. Get it over that side. Can you feel it, baby? Can you feel it? Can you feel it? Can you feel it? Can you feel it? Oh! This is everything I've been waiting for this week. I'll turn that up just a little bit more. I got it all the way up. I love colorful food. Do I cook with wine too? Yeah, I usually have me a little wine on the side and I'll be drinking while I'm cooking. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I do cook with wine too. Especially um, if I'm doing like a roast. A big meat roast. Um, I don't do a lot of white wines. I love a nice, robust red wine for my roast. Um, but if I'm doing a chicken, um, definitely. I'll throw a little white wine in there and create a nice sauce. Usually when I do my Alfredo sauces, I do like a white wine cream sauce. Yeah, so. Um, wines, honey. I'm not, I'm not saying no to the wine on any given day when it comes to cooking, good cooking. I'm going to turn my oven on because remember when we're doing the pork chops, we're not necessarily cooking it all the way through. That would take forever on top of this griddle, um, but we are going to make sure it gets a nice caramel color and crust on both sides and then we'll throw it in the oven for a few minutes and let it continue to cook on the inside all right um so i'm gonna put that on bake and get it started oh look at that look at that now see your snap peas are starting to turn a nice beautiful bright green they're starting let them don't stir too much don't stir too much. Okay, some of y'all get like overly excited and you just want to be stirring, stirring, stirring. Alright, don't do that. Just let it let it cook. I'm gonna throw some shiitake mushrooms in there in a little bit. I'm not putting the mushrooms in there to start because 
mushrooms are very tender, very delicate, um, and they don't take a whole lot of time, especially the shiitake mushroom. Okay, um, that's gonna go last, last. Right now, let me show you what these chops are doing, baby. All right. Now, if you cannot eat pork, and I'm not judging anybody's dietary standards, you can do this with steak, you can do this with chicken. Season it a day or so ahead of time, add your maple syrup, make sure your spices and stuff are nice to go through the thickness of that meat. Um, and that's why I kind of season it like ahead of time because I wanted to make sure that all my seasonings went all the way through the meat. Ain't nothing like biting into a piece of meat and the top is seasoned and then you get to the middle and it's like, where the seasoning go? Why, why, why the middle of the meat ain't seasoned? Mm-mm, honey. I can't. Cannot. Oh my god! <laughs> Yo! You wanna see it? Okay, look. Look at that! See how beautiful it's got a little, little crust going? I've always so proud of myself. Look at your sugar snap peas. Y'all. You better, y'all better get to the farmer's market. Get down there. Right away. And get some inspiration. All right. Now I'm gonna put some of these mushrooms on there. I'm gonna try to do some of the little ones. Little babies. Put those in there. See that. Just a little bit. Um, and I'm actually going to make a maple glaze to go on top. So yeah, I added the, the syrup when I was oh. Okay, I got a little smoke going. You know, don't ain't nothing burning. But uh I, I just wanna make sure. That if everything is, and and that my alarm don't go off. Now, if the alarm goes off, then I'll, I'll break away to, you know, do my thing. But honey, these these are nothing short of glorious right now. Simply glorious. All right. So what I'm, what I'm going to do now, oh man, I got my bowls. So my, my bowls are behind, behind your head. Can, can you move over a little, move over a little bit. Let me, excuse me. I'm going to just go right, right behind you and, and just grab them so I can make my sauce. Okay. You okay? Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. I appreciate you. I do. So what I have here, oh, I needed that anyway. Is a little maple syrup. Not much, cause I already seasoned it with a little maple. my vegetarians y'all this is a meal for you if you want it your shiitake mushrooms your sugar snap peas your red pepper and your red onion some fresh basil from my window garden some fresh thyme I mean fresh rosemary you can't tell me that that's not gonna be some good eating Okay, so I got a little maple syrup in here, just a little bit. Um, Worcestershire. 
Worcestershire, not Worcestershire. <laughs> I ain't mad at nobody that says Worcestershire. I'm, I'm not mad. But it's Worcestershire. Okay? Just, just saying. Don't go to a restaurant and ask for Worcestershire. Ask for Worcestershire. Alright. And stir, stir, stir. Oh, what did I put in there? So I did the maple syrup, the Worcestershire, and some spicy mustard from Coops. Coops didn't pay me for that, but uh, you're welcome, Coops. You're welcome. And stir, stir, stir until you get... Hey, Maurice! Ah, that's my beautiful cousin. Oh, that smells so delightful. Stir, stir, stir. that back over there. Now the key is to not overcook the um the chops. I need to take them off now. Okay? So I already preheated my oven and I've got my pan in here that is warm. It's it's already hot so it's ready for the chops. Um all I'm going to do is just put a little oil on the pan just to ensure that there's no sticking. Boom, boom, boom. Yes, yes, yes. And glaze this baby. Let me do a little bit of a little more maple syrup. I don't measure nothing, so don't ask me how much I use because I don't know. I should probably know. Uh, but I don't. I just, I just, I just go. I just do. No fires, man. <laughs> no fire. And the alarm didn't go off either. So I guess I pulled it off just in time. So you got your um, maple syrup here. You've got your Worcestershire, or if you don't have Worcestershire, you can use soy sauce. But I just didn't want the additional sodium that comes with the soy sauce. And a little spicy brown mustard. Let me just... Mmm, yes. Oh, God, yes. That is delish. And I'm just going... Dredge that baby all over. Uh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, yes. And that's what you got. Okay, put that in the oven for about 10, 12 more minutes to make sure the inside is cooked just right. I'll clean that off in a little bit, but I do need to wash down the stove, y'all. You know, I can't stand an old nasty stove, honey. Can't stand it. And go. Okay. I... <laughs> that right there, I could eat right now. Like I'm ready to eat it right now, but I'm gonna wait to do it with the um with the chops so chops gonna be another 10 15 minutes which is cool cover that up all right hang on i gotta get my Wonder ribbon in the sky, y'all. Yeah. 
why did I choose this playlist? Got me feeling all in love and everything. And oh, it's about to get cold coming up soon. This is cuffing season, and mm, I ain't got nobody to cuff, child. But oh well, we we shall see. Miracles can happen. <laughs> Oh boy, oh boy. But um I, what I'm doing is is completely unorthodox with this uh I should not be using a knife to remove the but I I just I just need a little salad right now. Alright, alright, I think I'm ready now. Give me a little salad going. Got that going in the oven. Got my veggies done. It ain't a big meal, but it will sustain me. I just want a little bit of that dressing, just a little bit. I'm not going to put no salt on it, but I am going to add just a little bit of minced garlic to it. And a little... Mm. Mm. I don't know how much it was. And I need a big spoon. I do hope that um these these little recipes, y'all okay, let me can I come clean? Can I come clean about some things? So <laughs> Some of the stuff I just be making up like I don't know what I'm gonna do until Friday night. Like I have an idea of what's on the menu, but sometimes things just just happen. And I'm just like, you know what? I made me up. I don't know. So some there are times when I'm just kind of making this up as I go along. And when you get to a place where you you just not afraid of like making mistakes in the kitchen and just know that it's going to be okay with whatever you come up with because it's what you came up with then it'll be okay um so i really don't stress too much about um uh, yes about um how i'm going to or, or necessarily every single detail about the meal i know what i want to do and you know i try to let the let the food speak for me oh, but let's get into a little bit of the salad and then we we gonna i'm gonna find out what's been going on with my good people mm -hmm. something's missing <laughs> My lemon. Bought this from the farmer's market too. Let me wash it again because I couldn't remember if I washed it the first time or not. And Luther Vandross? Y'all, I need to change this playlist because this is starting to make me slightly depressed. And a woman like me cannot afford to be depressed. Um, buy some love songs. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, Lord. Oh. See, it's got me all nervous and everything. I'm dropping my Worcestershire sauce all over the place. Oh. Lemon juice. That keeps me from using so much dressing and and it also keeps your salad nice and bright and keeps like these lettuces um I didn't use my artisan lettuce this time but basically the romaine the um the butter lettuce that's in here is the one that I got from the farmers market and um you don't want to weight it down with a heavy dressing Something nice and light and a little bit of citrus to keep it bright and keep it from just like, hmm. Mm. 
I love it. pick up a little um, Paul Masson today and I'm gonna have that with a little bit of coca-cola once I fix my plate now I don't I don't do the liquor so it's it's gonna have to be a very little bit but uh me and Paul we're gonna have dinner tonight Mmm, mm mm mm. That's good. Put my pepper. Sometimes a good old fresh salad is just the medicine you need, child. It ain't complicated. I ain't got a lot of stuff in it. I got my lettuces. I got my, my basil and my rosemary. Some red onion. Some Roma tomato. Some cucumber. A little lemon juice. And some garlic vinaigrette. And that's the salad. Mm -hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. It's gonna be my last bite. Mmm. Cause you gotta save some room for the food coming. Like that right there? Oh my gosh, it's gonna be so amazing. My sugar snap peas. And my um my maple glazed pork chop. That salad was a business. Okay. So y'all know this is about the time when we get into a little discussion. I I can't go too deep tonight because I'm telling you. The, the last talk we had about the forgiveness, y'all, that, that thing had me in a place where I was just like, like real, I, I was reflecting all week long. And if you didn't join us last week, we were, I brought up the, the case of Bolton John, who was murdered by the um, the white cop in Dallas, and and we talked about this thing about forgiveness, and you know, I I was kind of conflicted a little bit, um, because I understand that you know although. It is never my place and never anyone's place to judge how people find their freedom, right? So if they find their freedom through forgiveness in such a case like that, ugh, then I, I can't knock it. Um, I'm just not there. And um, that whole thing just kind of took a lot out of me. So I spent a lot of time this week just like really reflecting and, and really thinking. And then this, I'm telling you, before the show, before the show, y'all, I got, um, hold on, Luther, 
hold, let me, let me tell Luther this stuff. Now, this is big Luther. So, you know that I, mm, hold on. Hold on, Luther. Okay. So, uh, before the show, um, I, I kind of had a, a reckoning, um, with myself, really, but it, it was as a result of me not dealing with something that had already happened and then it met me and um i wouldn't i wasn't really sure how to deal with that um but the good thing is that it forced me to say what i needed to say because see i was I was waiting to craft the words just so and make sure I said all the right things the right way. And apparently <laughs> that wasn't uh, the role that I was supposed to play. I was, I was supposed to say it. And then I was in a place where I had to. I had to confront the thing um, that I was trying to avoid. And I don't think it was received very well, but I don't know. It could be me, you know, and, and I'm okay with that. But have you ever been in a situation where it doesn't matter how you say something? You know, people will, people will accuse you of saying, well, you know, it, it was just the way it came off and it was the way you said it. Don't you do that to yourself. Because the way you say things is also very important. I understand that. But for some people, I don't care how sweetly you say it. And I think I said this last week. Um, some people are just going to have a problem with the fact that you said it. And that's okay. That ain't for you to deal with. That is for them to deal with. Um, so I was just like, oh my God, like no matter how I say it, like I can't, honey, let me tell you, when I rehearse the words you find yourself like walking around the house practicing exactly how you're gonna say something and like adjusting it so that it comes out just right and then you go back and then you do it i know i'm not the only one i know i'm not um but yeah i had that moment and it was just like some people ain't gonna never be satisfied child so if you want to Free yourself. Um, say what needs to be said. Respectfully. And however um, some, sometimes you know, people gotta deal with their own perception. That's, that's just fat. Um, who am I to do this? But we all come with stuff. We all got our own set of luggage. You know, and, and there's things that some people do and say that absolutely rub me the wrong way and and it's not their fault. Um, sometimes there's a lot of truth in it. And, and I have to um, resolve that with myself. I don't know. What do you do? What do you do? 
But I know this. Um, I can't shut up no more. I can't be silent about crazy stuff that I see and not call it out for crazy. Gotta call it out. And that might make you an enemy to some people. That's fine. But they ain't your cross to bear no more. Mm, 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 mm. Rusella is so good and so fresh. And that basil just popped through just now. Like, ooh. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. Ooh, Tommy said it best. Thank you, honey. Um, defending people's interpretations. Yeah, I, I, I can't, I can't defend how you interpreted that. Like, if I wasn't clear, then I can, I can clarify it for you. But sometimes how I land on people is. You know, it's because of their own insecurities or fear or truth. Sometimes people don't like to be faced with their truth. And um, that's where the conflict comes in. You just call me out on my BS that happens to be my truth. And I ain't ready for that. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I do believe that these chops baby all right I'm gonna broil it just a little bit on the top to glaze that um that maple glaze I mean I'm gonna eat oh This kitchen is a mess. That's okay. I'll I'll take care of it after the show. The kitchen's not a mess. Just my counter is a mess right now from all the stuff that I had pulled out. But yet somehow you keep tuning in to to watch my beautiful mess, like in the kitchen and otherwise. Because Lord knows there's a lot to, that goes on um, with your girl. And I, I'm i not too shy about exposing some of that. A lot of that. Like I said, some people say I overshare. <laughs> Which is, you know, it could be a blessing and a curse. But, um... I'm going to share everything, but, you know, if if it's something that is, um, that I feel is pertinent, um, to our lives and, and may cause somebody else to find a little bit more freedom, then, yeah, I'll share it. I, I want you to know. I'm, I'm flawed. I'm screwed up. Um, there are things that happen with me that, you know, I don't often like, but... You know, I can come to terms with that and, uh, you know, live to cook another day.
I need to put that lettuce back in the fridge. Hang on. All right. Woo! Pepper, all these veggies need to go back in the fridge. I do hope. Uh, oh, yes. Okay, take it out. That smoke. That syrup. It's live, baby. It's all the way live. And sometimes live is smoky. I didn't burn it. But, uh... You know, it ain't always cute. Oh, yes. Yeah. You hit it with a little bit of oil. A little syrup. A little pepper. And I'm going to start to plate dinner for you now i'm gonna make some minor adjustments here so i want you to bear with me okay i've not hired a videographer yet <laughs> like i can do that right now i didn't okay um so i'm gonna i'm gonna bring you down to my Uh oh. Oh yes. I know the light's gone. Don't you worry though. I got you covered. Got you covered, honey. And um now I may have to just adjust. Here I am. Don't worry. Mm. Every week, this gets a little more cumbersome. Now, how am I going to do this? How? Okay. Ah. Yes, because I want you to see the plates. That's that's what we're trying to do here. Oh yeah. It's dinner time. All right. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm letting that meat rest for just a few minutes cuz I want the juices to kind of redistribute so when I cut into it, it's still nice and juicy. For some, I feel like I might have overcooked it a little bit, but that's okay. I'm going to still eat it. Um, and put all of this together. Yeah. Let's do that. Let's do that. Here we go. Oh, yes. Try the recipes. Oh, lady in my life. That's my chop. Like, not even low-key, but all the way, hating this, these love songs right now. 
I'm a, I'm a little bitter. <laughs> I ain't bitter, but <laughs> kind of. All right, I got some sugar snap peas going here. And peppers and shiitake mushrooms. Oh my goodness. Me love it. Okay. Now, of course, I got to get a screenshot of this plate. So I'm going to use my old phone to take a shot. Ooh. Oh, y'all. When I tell you this is a, a really cute little plate, go out of there. It's just a cute little supper. Not a lot. Very simple. It didn't take long. Mmm. Hmm. I know. Y'all, okay. Until I can hire some good help, I got to be my own crew. Sometimes you just got to be your own crew. I think I've got enough. <laughs> I think I got enough. Okay. So, got me a little steak knife because, of course, I need to be able to let you see the finished product and how it worked out. Okay. There, there's the dinner. Okay. Can you see? Yeah. Very simple. Sugar snap peas, shiitake mushrooms, peppers, onions, and maple glazed pork chop. Oh my gosh. That chop is beautiful. Mmm. All right. Let's pray to the most high. Thank you, Lord, for this food. Thank you for granting me the ability to prepare it. Oh, thank you for my guests tonight and sharing this moment with me. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 Let's dig in, boo. First, I want to try these. Uh, get a little piece of everything from, the, from that on there. Mushroom, snap peas. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Not over seasoned. Y'all, if it was, I would tell you. If it was like, yeah. Then I'd be like, yeah. Yeah, even with my own cooking. Mm. <laughs> These little babies are so cute and crispy. Listen. Mm. You couldn't hear that? Okay. No, couldn't hear it. Well, it's in my mouth now. All right, let's try a piece of this pork chop. I love a good bone chop, honey. Cook all the way through. See that? Ain't no paint. I still think I might have overcooked it a little bit. I could have undercooked it a little bit and just let it kind of do the rest on its own but it's okay we're gonna see
So when I seasoned it, I thought, I said, ooh, I'm really, really doing the most with this maple syrup. Maybe I'm doing too much. No, boo. Mm-mm. Any doubts I have have all been dispelled through this bite. When I tell you it is tender and succulent and, ooh, that... The top is so it's kind of sticky where it glazed up a little bit. Mmm. Oh my 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 my. <laughs> that is good, and it's cooked all the way through. You talking? Yeah. Now, I'm about to do something on camera that some of y'all are going to be like, oh my God, you are so country, girl. But when you get a good old bone that's been seasoned to perfection, then that little layer of fat and that little piece of meat around that bone is also seasoned to perfection, honey. Pardon me. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> I did it. <laughs> I did it. You knew I was. You knew I was gonna pick it on up. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> Honey. Tender, juicy, delicious, and flavor all the way through, okay? So if you get you a good piece of meat, if you don't want to do pork, you can do um, steak, you can do chicken, you can do lamb chops. I do my lamb chops like this when I do the maple glazed lamb chops. Same thing. Um, and with maple, make with the lamb chops. I really don't overcook it. Sear it on top of that thing three minutes on both sides of the um bone on top of the griddle three minutes. Pop it in the oven for a minute. Let it glaze up. Perfect. That's it. Um. Oh my gosh. Mm. Yes. In case you had any doubt, I am a thick chick who likes to cook and eat. Um, cooking is my therapy. Keeps me from going back to other vices. Or um, become a depressed again because I've been there. It's a creative outlet for me. And by doing this show every Friday, it allows me to just create, be vulnerable, and just have good, clean fun. So, I'm going to finish dinner. I'll probably make myself a little short drink. Like that. Um, but as always, thank you. Thanks for hanging out. I know this wasn't a, a very long show with me, but 
Y'all hung in there with me. Thank you for doing that. Um, and allowing me to just be who I am. Which is a little country girl from Lynchburg, South Carolina. Cooking and eating on a Friday night. That's what I do every Friday night at 6. Okay, here on Facebook. Now you can also um, catch some of my posts and pictures of some of the recipes that I've done. On, excuse me. On my IG at sugarpearls underscore online. You can also go to YouTube. So probably tonight, maybe tomorrow. Give me some time because I, I got to clean up the kitchen and everything first. And then I will post this show to my YouTube page. Um, and you'll be able to go there. And the YouTube site is capital S-U-G-A-R, capital P-E-A-R-L apostrophe S. That's it. Sugar Pearls. Okay. Now, if you'd like to look at the recipes, if you want to see more pictures of some of the creations I've done over the years, or most importantly, honey, if you want to book this cook, you can also go to my website, all right? And I've got a place there where you can kind of um, leave your vision, how many people you'd like, and let me know your next event, and I will make your vision come to a plate somewhere near you, honey. That site is www.sugarpearlsonline.com. Thank you so much for being here with me. Thank you for joining me as always on a Friday night at six. Once again, gotta say happy, happy birthday on Sunday to my favorite girl, my mama, Ethel P. Isaac, I'm looking forward to seeing you this weekend, boo. Can't wait. We gonna turn up, turn up. Probably won't be turning up, but I'm gonna get to see you. All right. <laughs> and we'll sit on the porch and, and have a, a cup of coffee or something together on Sunday morning. All right. I love you guys. Tune in again next week. And until next time, um, keep living loving and being the wonderful you that you are.